here's a fastly tip that I've learned through doing this stuff. You can actually do that with curl as well, simply by setting the request method to purge, which I think, is that an HTTP method or did fastly make that up? But it's not like a post with a special parameter or like anything like that. If you just do curl and then the endpoint, it'll obviously mm -hmm. get you that endpoint. If you do curl dash capital X space purge, then the endpoint, you're just telling Fastly to purge that thing, which is kind of weird because couldn't you like DDoS a fast a CDN that way by like just continually purging somebody's URLs for them? I mean, don't do that, dear dear listener. But <laughs> it's out. like a beep, beep, Fastly beep, beep. feature. That's kind of cool. I mean, it makes it really easy when you're like, do I want to make sure that this request is going to be completely pristine? Is before I actually curl it, I'll just curl dash x purge it, and then the next curl is going to be fresh. Can anyone do that? I thought like you need like some sort of a key to do anyone that. Anyone really? can do that. That's why I said please don't do that. It seems like a. Are the endpoints hard to okay. guess though? No, man. It's just whatever URL you're getting. That doesn't sound right. It works. <laughs> I think we're still holding it wrong. <laughs> it works. It doesn't <laughs> sound right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the, these things are beasts. Like just like everyone listening listening to this, they're such complicated systems that they all come together, right? So there's a bit of appreciation for how complicated these things get. There's all sorts of edge cases. There's always edge cases. I don't know whether we, we are hitting one, but this doesn't sound right to me. Not like no one should be able to purge our cache, our fastly cache, except us, if we have the correct key. I agree, but you can just do that. Let's put a pin in that <laughs> and follow up. Let's talk to James about it. Rather than live debug it. What would happen if you purged the root of changelog.com? Well, it's just going to regenerate it on the next request. Just the homepage, right? Yeah. Wh whatever assets are there for the homepage. No, just that URL. It's just a single URL purge. So you can't do like a wild card. No, you can't do a wild card. What's in the cache for, let's just say, the root of changelog.com? It's just whatever that response is. I see. So maybe we talk to James next uh next session and see if this is did i find a bug and fast a global purge bug that would allow very simple cdn ddos by anybody against any fastly endpoint i'll check the <laughs> documentation first so this is like a feature i think it is because i read about it i didn't learn this by trying it i read about it but i don't remember i know that now i'm googling it maybe we should just put a pin in it like you said yeah yeah that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> this rabbit hole will go deep. It's super handy. <laughs> like, how many years have we been <laughs> digging at Fastly at this at this specific rabbit hole? And that basically shows what it takes to achieve mastery in any one thing. In this case, it's Fastly. Uh, Kubernetes, I think, is like another special hole. And there's a few others. Uh, Fly.io, there's like so many things within Fly.io. Every single hole needs a shovel and some digging <laughs> before you can call yourself, I know this hole. Uh, so anyways, I found the docs URL purge, a single URL purge invalidates a single object identified by a URL that was cached by the read through cache. This can be done via the web interface by using the Fastly API or by sending a purge request to the URL to be purged. For example, curl dash capital X purge HTTP blah, 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 example.com path to object purge. There's no authentication or anything on that. So that's right there in their docs. Okay, so it must be a feature that. <laughs> it must be a feature. <laughs> I'll link to it. It's a cool feature. I appreciate it as someone who's developing against their system. How do we disable it? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Is there a button to disable it? 